ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם שהכל נהיה בדברו. According to the Talmud, there are three characteristics of the Jewish people. You can identify them by that. What are those characteristics? They are Rachmanim. They have compassion. They have compassion for those that suffer. They feel with them. There is a German word, Mitleid, which means really to feel with the other person. And that is one of the characteristics of the Jewish people. Another one is Baishanim, they are modest. From the very time of the first man, when Adam appeared in this world, after he ate of the forbidden fruit, he covered himself. He felt he was naked. He covered himself with leaves of a fig tree. That was a sign of his modesty. And the third characteristic is Gomlei Chasadim. They share what they have with other people. They're generous. We find that that was the great characteristic of our first patriarch, Abraham. He always loved to share what he had with other people, and we have learned from him since then. The Bible instructs us that we have to give one-tenth of the product of the earth. If we have a field after the harvest, we have to give one-tenth to some worthy cause. In fact, the Bible ordains two such things. One-tenth had to be consumed in the city of Jerusalem. One-tenth had to be given to the poor. And there are many people today that continue to practice that, not only among the Jewish people, non-Jews as well. They tithe their earnings. That means they give a tenth to a worthy cause because they want to share what God has given them with other people who are less fortunate in this world. There was a very famous Hasidic rabbi, was the rabbi of Kotsk. When he was very young, and when he heard his teacher tell him that when our ancestors were in the desert, they didn't have to worry about food because manna came down from heaven. Every morning when they got up, they found the field covered with manna, which was some kind of food stuff. According to our rabbis, you could actually feel any kind of food that you wanted once you swallowed it. Some say you couldn't feel the flavor of meat, but everything else you could really feel. So this young boy asked his teacher, teacher, if everybody had enough to eat, how did Jews practice charity? The word for charity in Hebrew is tzedakah. How did they practice tzedakah? He was worried that they didn't have an opportunity to fulfill a biblical obligation. Apparently, when you practice tzedakah, you not only give, you receive something also. And tzedakah isn't really charity. It comes from a Hebrew root tzedek, which means justice. It is the right thing to do. It is the just thing to do. And you have to share what you have with others that are less fortunate than you in this world. Well, a very important lesson is that if you want to be in the receiving end, you have to give. The Bible says, When you give, you actually redeem your soul. You become a better person by doing it. You want to feel better, go and give. And remember, venatnu is one of those words that can be read from left to right and right to left the same way. It means that when you give, you surely will receive as well. Not only will you receive in kind, you will receive tremendous spiritual satisfaction and you will become a better human being thereby. <laughs>